What's up guys, it's MCJ, Mac Holmes Jones here, back with another video on Power Automate. And we're still looking at the SharePoint actions, and today we're going to look at the action Create File. So this action allows you to create a file. So not copy a file from another location, but create one from scratch, and you can pass in various different parameters to it. So this is potentially good if you need to um, rename things and, and, and change things around. Uh, unlike the copy file, you can't change the name of the file. Um, it's, it's kind of predetermined. This gives you a bit more control. So let's take a look at it today. So in Power Automate here, we have our manual trigger. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in um, an action um, from our SharePoint connector. So we'll search SharePoint, see more and then we'll choose create file. So the create file is going to ask for four different parameters. It's going to ask for the site address, the folder path, the name, and the file content. So for this file address, we're just going to hard code in our MCJ site one, the one that we've been testing with, and we'll choose the MCJ document library as well. Next, we can choose a file name. So we can put whatever file name we want in here. We'll, choose, we'll call it something like uh, YouTube vid. Uh, dot uh, docx, so make it a, a document, a word document. And the next thing it's going to ask for is the file content. Now at this point, I don't have the file content. Um, now the file content is is encoded in a, in a specific way. So if I was to type in sort of like you know a paragraph in here, it wouldn't exactly work. So what we're going to do is we're going to use another action, and we're going to get file content for another file and paste it into this file. So let's go back and add an action in before. We'll choose an action, go to SharePoint again, and we'll click see more. And a bit further down the bottom, we've got one called get file content. And what get file content does is it goes off, it looks at the file, and it pulls out the content from within that file. So not the name of the file, but the content inside it. So what we'll do is we'll choose the site address, again, the same site address. And for the file, we're going to go into our MTJ document library and we'll choose our check it out docs that we've been using in previous videos. Um, there's only one additional parameter here that is an optional one, which is infer content type. So infer content type basically means, do you want me to know what the content is or do you want to specify this later on? Uh, we just want to leave it as the default infer content type to yes. Now that we've got that, um, and that action will get the content from the file, it won't do anything, so it just, just gets it for your flow to use. We can go to our create file action and choose direct content, and we can see it's the first one on the list, file content, the content of the file. So we put that in there, and we can test this out. So that should get rid of the error, it's all good. Let's hit publish, go to test, manually test it, test this out, Run the flow, click done, and hopefully we'll get a success message in a second. Cool, we've got green ticks all the way down. Let's go to our SharePoint site, and we can see we have a new file at the bottom called YouTube vid, created a few seconds ago, and if we click into it, it'll open up, and it has the content that is in our other file. So this is like a one-liner that's in the other file. Um, so that's all. That's all great. That's that's exactly what this does. So when when I kind of mentioned that the copy copy file uh, action just copies the file, you can't change the name of it uh, and anything else. What that means is that if you wanted to potentially do something like have a template file and then rename the template based on what the you know the say you're doing a quote for someone and you need to rename the template based on the quote number or the, the customer name or something like that you can't do that and what you end up with is just files that all have the same name that have no kind of real relevance um, so create file is actually a, a handy alternative to this so yes it is two actions you need to get the file content first and then then create the file afterwards but it gives you a little bit more control about what you can do with it. So I think it's a really useful action. Um, I'm, I'm really interested to find out what you guys are using it for. When are you using create file over copy file? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, if you'd like it and share it with a friend, that would be really appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.